Hello everybody, this is Dee. Welcome to my channel, Dee Plants and Budgets. I'm so glad to see you here today. I hope your weekend is going well. I'm actually recording this on Sunday morning. Alrighty, what are we doing today? We are doing the month ahead binder, aka how to pay off debt, or whichever way you like to be motivated from this, this particular video. I started doing this because I did not have any debt, but I wanted to demonstrate to people a way that you could save for debt throughout the month have a lot of fun with savings challenges and at the end of the month you can clear it out even if those challenges are not done and you can make a big de debt payment. For me, I use this to save for next month's sinking funds and these went up a bit this month because I added lawn care and YouTube TV into my sinking funds. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 75, 80, Two four six eight ninety two four six seven eight nine two hundred one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. This has a few more smaller bills, or a lot more smaller bills, because this is the first time. And of course, all of these are empty. Let's start out playing Plunko, and this is the new game that I just put it in my shop. I have it in a couple places in my budget. Let's use this little hummingbird. Alrighty, and you can play the cards with this. I'm going to use dice. I prefer to use dice, but there are cards available for it that you make, and the, the, guard, the cards tell you the direction to go. And then, since this is the first one I'm doing today, and I've got money, I'm going to tell you the higher dollar value, too, and that is going to be that I'm going to put a dollar in every time I roll the dice, in addition to paying what I land on. So let's just start. So I got a five, and a five says I move down diagonal left. So this start is in here, so I go there. And that's a dollar. And then down diagonal left again. That's another dollar. And I go left, that's another dollar. Now if I can't move, I have to pay a dollar. And I go down, good, that's another dollar. And I go down diagonal left, I can't do that, so I pay another dollar. And I go again. Two is down again, and three is right. That's another dollar. Not sure if I paid for two, but that's okay. And six is down diagonal right. That's another dollar. And four is right. That's another dollar. You can see how the money adds up because this is not as, as straightforward. And then one is down, so I ended on seven. So five, seven. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dollars from the moves. Nine ten. All right, so fifteen dollars went into Plunko today, and I specifically created this challenge because I wanted a game that you don't finish because I don't empty this or I don't uh, wait for these to get done, and so I like that this is just a running game that I can just do however much I want in there. Next week I probably won't do the high dollar value way. I'll just do it the regular way. Next from Madeline, Madeline Budgets. We have this one here, and let's go ahead and kind of goes with the flowers. I don't know. It works. Okay, and since we did so much the first one, we're not going to do a whole row this time. Let's do, let's do $15. Actually, I should have done a 15 so I could do 20 because I have these 20s, but that's okay. 10 and 15. I have my prop bank. I can just make change. And that's from Madeline Budgets, and that has a start. Now, this next one, Girl Mama Budgets, I roll a six sided dice. And let me go ahead. I'm going to do both of these, the inside and the outside. Okay, so I have a six and a two. And a six and a three. So that's 17. I'm going to do just one. And a three, I think that'll be 20. So eight, 14, and 20, yes. I was trying to get 20 because I need the 20. And this again is one I'm uh, zeroing out at the end of the month. I've written down the amounts that I've done in the past on there. All righty, next from Zen Craftivity, I am doing the knockout one, and then I have more in there to start. Let's get the red out. And let's do six. Let me see. 
This one I should be able to finish in a month. Let's do 10. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yes, I'm gonna do this a total of three times this month. So this is Debt Derby from Zen Craftivity and I'm starting with $10. Fantastic. And this is one I have been working on for a while. It's from Lady Dies Saves and I've been doing a $1 a letter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So about four per uh, day because I'm gonna finish this this month. So let's go ahead and put $4 in here. I love coloring in letters. It is so, I don't know, calming. I really like doing it. So two and $4. And as I said, these are ones that are just all getting a start this month because I emptied it out last month. And I put a bunch of new ones in here because I finished some. This next one is from Alley Budgets, and it's a roll and save. Let me get my black pen. Hold on. All righty. Let's do this dice again, and let's see if I can get two numbers, a six and a one. And let's make that it for now. <clears throat> $7 is going into this one from Alley Bear Budgets. I can always come back and do them again. This next one is from Bookish Mama Budgets, and she sent this to me. Thank you so much. Look at it. It's so cute little plant guys and i need to get one of my scratchers out i never use a dice let's do this one right in the middle it's book is numbers one through 15. well there's a 12. all right i'm never in a hurry to finish a scratch off especially when as pretty as this so we're just going to stop at 12. all right Okay, this next one is from Jenny at Simply Living Saves, and I have used this one quite a bit because it's just a really, it's just a really good one to use, especially for a category like this. So the small icons are going to be two, the large icons are going to be three, and let's get rolling. So one, five dollars. One again, three dollars. Three, one, two, three. Two dollars. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. A large icon is three dollars. And I feel like because it's Jenny's, I should push it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six dollars. I think that's enough, unless it's close to twenty, in which case I might I might stretch it. Let me see. Ten. Ugh. 16, 17, 18. Okay, we're going to do one more because this is 19. And I'd like to use up one of the 20s here. So three. One, two, three. Hey, look at that. That works. It's an even 20. As I said, these are a good one to do because you don't have to end them at the end of the month. You can just continue playing and filling in the squares. So $20 is going into this one from Jenny. It's Simply Living Saves. I've used this many a time and still enjoying it. All right, so I have two of my scratchers here. I'm doing both. This one has roll and saves on the back. Looks like I have only one roll and save left. So let's do that. So it is getting a three for the back to finish this part of the roll and save. All right, and then it's got three scratchers and this one has one, two, three, four scratchers. So that's seven. So two scratchers per time. All right, so one on each one. Let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, this scratcher got a 10. And these are both uh, challenges that I've made. And then, let me see. Oh, the scratcher's gonna get a 10. All right. So another 10, let's take these two 10s and grab a 20. All right, 20 and $23 going into these two scratchers. I should finish both of these this month. All right, this next one is my little lazy lounging uh, cocktail animals. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and do a whole row. This is perfect.
All right, this is getting $8. And as I said, it's part of my little cocktail critter set. This monkey we're gonna save because I can use uh, leftover money for that. I wanted to bring this one in because um, Elaine from Elaine Realized sent me this and it's her kitty cat woods. And this is a group play. I don't necessarily do group plays, but let's see if we can get this done this week or this month. So if I did three, three each time, I could finish it this month. So, but that's just gonna depend on how much money I have. So five, I love the little heart she puts under there. And three, okay, I can do another one this week. And let's do this one here. And seven. These scratch so nice, and they're her kitties. It's so cute. Let's get the last seven before I forget. And what do we have? We have five, 10, 12, 14, and 15. So let's put these back and grab a 10 and $15 going into this one from Elaine Realized. It's got a roll and save on the back. All right, next from Hey K Budgets and Kimmy's Budgets, which is also Beige and Girl on um, YouTube, uh, I, I, I shut the box. And I had decided to go ahead and do a hold off on um, Renee's Shut the Box. I've This is the first time I've not played a pure Shut the Box. I just really wanted to do it in this case because I just really liked, I mean, come on, it's avocados. And then Bayesian Girls, or Kimmy's, are the pandas, because they did a big Olympic thing. So I just had to play these. Let's get started and play uh, uh, Shut the Olympic Box, or Shut the Box Olympics. Okay, so five and one is six. We're just going to color in these pits, because you all know how I love to color in avocado pits. And two and two is four. And five. And I am going to save, I should be able to save the amount of money. So five again. If I can't, I can add it together. Oops, gotta do the three on that, sorry. I can add it together or do whatever I need. And then four. Nope, okay, so that would be 17, 24, 25. I do not want to put 25 in there, so we're going to add the 2 and 5 together for 7. And I'm just going to write 7 on here. And then let me get this green and color these pits in. I like how I, how I said that. I should be able to do them as written, and then the first one is $27. All right, so $7. Let's play again. Ooh, actually, though. Let's do one of Kimmy's when we play again. And I should be getting, let me get a different marker that's not going to bleed. Let's do this pink. And this blue, I guess. Okay. So let's go. Seven. And four. And four. And five. Is this going to be the same thing? And nine. That's good. And five again. So eight, nine, ten, sixteen. Again, I can't afford to do that. Here I was talking all tough about how I can do it at full value. So sixteen, one and six together is another seven dollars. That works for me. Let's put another seven here. And we'll save seven more dollars. And take this for the 10. And that equals $14. All right, and that's from um, Hey K Budgets and Kimmy's Budgets for Bayesian Girl on YouTube. And next from LV Budgets, we have these little flowers here. And we're gonna put in $3 per flower. And let's do three, six, nine, 12, 15. Let's just do 15. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Yeah, because then three times this month, that'll finish them up. Sorry, I had to cough. And $15 going into LV Budgets. All right, now let's see if I can get a bunch of this done on this this month. Look, I, I made these a little tiny when I printed them. 
<laughs> We're going to do them next time. How fun. So, how much do I have? 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, and 2. Let's get this and have 20. Because I need my change. Let me count it again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, and we're going to put 20, 30, 2 in there. Let's grab the 10. $32. Okay, let me find some colors. Okay, this is 12. I think I need the calculator. Okay, so $20 left, three, six, this is $10. Let's go up here since I have the orange. And that's $8, 12 left. And then three, six, nine, 12, all right, that'll work. Or this one right here, but I think we'll do this one. And then this is gonna be 12 more dollars. All right, so that's a total of $30 going into here. 30, oh, I need two. <clears throat> Let's do this last two right here. I almost forgot it. All right, so this is going to leave us in this challenge, eight, 16, plus 10 is 26, plus 12, $38. And then this one's gonna be done, yay. And so this one got $32 today, fantastic. And then we'll start these little tiny ones, so cute. I didn't need to shrink them down. I have this great big envelope. I didn't at the time though. I switched these back to the bigger binder. I have this extra one I used to keep my long term in this shaky pretty binder and I really like it. And I just prefer the savings challenges like this in the bigger binders. So I just switched it up and put them back in there. I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by today. And um, the next video is gonna be posted on Tuesday. That'll be my task Tuesday with all the miscellaneous things. If you haven't watched that number, but you still want to add a color and a letter, you can do it here if you'd like to, or go and watch that video and do it there. Either way, but I will be uh, taking those suggestions for the video I'm posting on Tuesday. Take a walk if you can, although it's awfully hot, especially here in Texas, so I wouldn't recommend it. And until the next one, bye.